I thought there was a lot of very strong entries in this category. Um, really a range of subject matters and really interesting uh, ways that folks presented it. Um, I think for, um, I thought the uh, fighting fire with fire, um, there was a lot of information um, and I thought that the blending of being able to look at something from an aerial perspective down to um, having someone stand in that very same place um, from a physical kind of real life standpoint was really interesting. Um, I felt like it was a little bit information heavy um, and a little overwhelming as an experience. Um, but in terms of innovation, I thought um, it did a really good job. Um, for the last conversation, I, I really liked um, that one as well. I thought it was very strong and successful. The subject matter obviously was um, was a was a really good way into it. It's it's a lot of what many folks are were thinking about in that moment. Um, and I thought getting into it with illustrations was also quite innovative. Um, I think the style of the illustrations we that could have been kind of made a little bit more. They they all kind of were similar in style, um, and I wondered if kind of mixing that up would have been an interesting tactic. But I thought that was a really successful. Uh, piece as well. Um, similarly, the Hero Harlem Choir um, was very interesting. I mean, it really kind of drew me in and uh, the combination of sound and experience um, was was good. And the subject matter, again, was something that I, I hadn't seen before. Um, the Mars AR experience um, was also interesting. It was I had a little bit of trouble with the functionality on that one, um, but I think that was uh, was an interesting take. I can jump in. Um, I agree with everything you just said, Samin. Um, I thought I had a couple of specific notes on the fighting fire with fire. I thought there was one, like the graphics were really amazing. And there was one part in particular where there was like a heavy zoom into not what, it, it wasn't satellite imagery. It had been like created by the, by the designers. Um, but it was, I thought really phenomenal. Um, and yeah, I thought generally that piece was really excellent. Um, and that the illustrations in it were really effective. There was like a moment where there were illustrations of like what a fire would look like in a managed forest versus non-managed. And it explained the difference succinctly in just like three pictures. Um, on the last conversation, it's obviously really heartbreaking. Editorially, I loved it. I also, uh, again, I keep on having this note on like some of the pieces I really like, but um, I think it's the the losses for family members like have been challenging, I think, for news organizations to do enough coverage of and like coverage that people will really engage with. Um, partly because of just like content trauma. Um, and I thought that this approached it really effectively, it's really heartbreaking. Um, one sort of note I have on it in terms of the user experience is that it was so full bleed that like I sometimes couldn't like find my place in the piece, if that makes sense. Like to like go back to a video or go back to videos would be like a number of scrolls, but you weren't sure how many numbers of scrolls. So that would be like a slight user experience critique is like, it was so immersive that when you were in a particular section, it was could be a little bit difficult to get out of or like travel around easily. Um, but I loved it. Um, also on the illustrations, I I had the same thought. So I mean that they felt um, it was pretty consistent throughout the piece, and it, at points it felt like a little bit busy to me, illustration wise. Um, 
Harlem Choir. Um, the piece was amazing. I loved it. It was really unique. I haven't seen anything like that before with 3D audio. Um, the topper in particular, I think, was really phenomenal. Um, and then Mars AR, I also had a little bit of like functionality difficulty. I think like a, a little tweak might have been just to have it be clearer up front what you were using it for, if that makes sense. Like I sort of was in it and then wasn't sure what my options are or what I was going to be seeing other than obviously, you know, Mars but um, and the rover. But um, visually, I thought it was beautiful. Um, but the functionality, from, for me at least, in like the, the five minutes that we spent with it was uh, a little confusing. Very creative, um, though, I should note as well. Yeah, so um, I think we're all in like general agreement about uh, I, I, I generally agree with uh, most of your notes about everything. I, I think that the Harlem Choir piece, um, you know, they took something, an idea that was really unique. And what I liked most about it is that they were able to make the experience very simple for the viewer. You know, there wasn't a whole lot to um, get lost in. Uh, you were kind of just there to absorb, you know, the sound and, um, you know, experience how it's different, you know, watching something through a like click to play video compared to like actually moving through a space. You know, that's something that people can understand. And they made it um, so that, you know, you can experience that through, through you know, your computer. Um, with the fighting fire piece, uh, I agree. There was a, there was a lot of information, um, and I think that they did a good job of making that um, clear for for the user. But you do kind of have to, you know, spend a little bit more time with it. I think the innovation in that part is mostly with the pairing the drone imagery with the topographical maps. It sounds like. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it is really cool to bounce in and out of uh, the map to kind of see, you know, see like a general overview of everything. And then I get like this really micro level, you know, here's what it looks like on the ground. Um, so I, I thought that was cool. Um, you know, they're not relying on just satellite images. Uh, you know, they're out there collecting their, their own data. Um, I think for um, the last conversations, uh, you know, it's a very, it is like a very beautiful piece. Uh, and I think that it's, it is difficult to, um, you know, like you were saying, Courtney, it's, it's like hard to spend a lot of time with these um, types of, of stories just because there is like so much, um, you know, so much trauma that people have ex uh, experienced like over the past few years. And uh, I think that, you um, the way that they've uh, made it so that you can kind of, you know, spend more time with the story um, while, you know, you're, you're, you're experiencing uh, the characters' voices and you're able to kind of get a general feel for it. And um, for me, like the... I can truly... Oh, sorry. The fact that it was so, you know, I, I think he called it like full bleed. It was like so immersive. You could kind of, um, but there wasn't a whole lot of like detail that you had to pay attention to in the illustrations. I kind of could just, you know, sit in it, let, um, you know, the general colors and uh, illustrations, um, you know, guide my, what's it called, em emotion. And I could like really listen to the audio. Uh, I thought that was, you know, a, an interesting way to experience that. Um, for, Mars AR, um, interesting, but I don't know if it was the best implementation, um, just because I feel like I got lost in what I was supposed to be doing with it. Um, might also just be because, you know, I'm in my 30s and not super <laughs> tech savvy when it comes to like Instagram uh, AR videos, maybe. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, wasn't sure 
if there was supposed to be more that I was, um, you know, supposed to have access to, should we be able to steer the rover, uh, look at different things? Um, it kind of just was like the one action that you saw, like of the drilling of the sample. Um, and then you flipped it or the camera around and took a selfie with it. And I, I thought that was, um, you know, when, when I realized that that was all that you could do, then I was like, oh, it's, it's a little bit too simplistic. There's not really a whole lot um, to take in there. So with that discussion, should we, um, should we rank our choices now? Can drop those into the Slack. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. You know, I'm actually having some trouble placing Harlem Choir and Fighting Fire. And I wonder if you two are going through the same thought process. I am, I'm having trouble generally with, with uh, Harlem Choir last conversation, okay. Fighting Fire. They're, they're all very strong. Um, Do you still feel that way, like bearing in mind that this is specific to innovation? We should pull up those guidelines. Good idea. I can find them. I have so many tabs open now. Okay, so for innovation, this is for Moonshot projects, visual stories innovating with emerging technology, reporting techniques, or engagement tactics. Virtual reality, augmented reality, 360 video, or otherwise, or other immersive story forms are eligible. Novel uses of technologies such as AI, machine learning, natural language processing, drones, sensors, and remote operated cameras are eligible. Stories that are published natively off platform through an open platform or, or to social media are also eligible. Submit links, descriptions, and relevant audience engagement information if applicable. So it mentions both the use of technology for reporting and the, how did they say it? The presentation for the audience? 
or engagement tactics, I guess. Engagement tactics, yeah. Right. And so for the last conversation, the engagement tactic would be, I think, like the the hyper full bleed experience. And like you said, Ramon, the sort of the feeling of the garage, like you enjoyed the illustrations kind of washing over you as you're listening. You found that very immersive. So I guess those would be the two things for the last conversation. I um just one note for me on the last conversation. I don't think I was as um like I thought the full bleed was effective. Um, it didn't it didn't bother me as much. I th I think for it it really did draw me in, um, and kind of made me want to listen. I think it's a, like as we were saying. I think it's a really tough subject matter for people to listen to and also to kind of you know make people watch other people recount their trauma. But it was uh, quite successful in, in kind of drawing me in with the use of the animation and the full bleed. Um, mm -hmm. There's just one functionality thing is that the with the audio, the audio like automatically comes on if you have it on for every single one. So that that's something that I know, but I feel like that's not a huge deal in the grander scheme of things. Mm -hmm. And on fighting fire with fire, the innovative parts of it. I think where the drone use and um, merging that with the uh, topographical maps. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, Like it, it's interesting that you know you have these two views where you know you have the overhead and then you have the on the ground look, but I wouldn't say that that's necessarily as innovative. Um, you know, it's just it's it's a couple of shots uh, to kind of take you to these uh, two different perspectives. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. It seems like the, the the use of the drone, the kind of uh, drone slash high res satellite kind of imagery almost was the mm -hmm. innovation here, was the main innovation. Um, I think this was very successful. I think the biggest thing for me with this one is it, it's, there's a lot of different media happening. so hard for me to pinpoint like what the most innovative part like if there's a lot of there's video there's um satellite imagery there's cinemagraphs mm -hmm. um okay. so i think that I think I'm in a better place for um, ranking now. <laughs>